we are up on northeastern Baffin Island, kind of out in the middle of nowhere. We're in an extremely remote part of the Arctic tundra. There are no trees. There's no vegetation that's higher than my ankle bone. It's, it's a really dramatic landscape. We're here because we're collecting mud from the bottom of this lake, lake sediment, to reconstruct the past 10,000 years of climate and uh, vegetation history. So we're interested in learning about what has happened in the past here at this site um, in terms of climate change and how the landscape responded to climate change. When the Earth's climate changes, the Arctic changes even more than the rest of the Northern Hemisphere. So it's a great place to look for big changes um, and it's an important place to understand what climate change means. How is the landscape going to respond? And so we're collecting these, these lake sediment cores in order to look at this continuous record of environmental change over the last 10 or 11,000 years. And the way that we're doing that is, is through a pretty cool new technique um, my focus is looking at DNA that we can extract directly from the mud. Um, and this DNA sample then contains everything, theoretically, all the living organisms that were in and around this lake at the time that that sediment was deposited. So what we can do is selectively look at the plant DNA that is contained in the mud and then work backward to learn what the plant community consisted of at that time. And so if we do that for various slices of time through this core, and then we compare it um, with other analyses that tell us about temperature and other climate parameters, we can learn about the relationship between the vegetation that grows here and climate. And hopefully that'll help us predict what might happen on the landscape as the earth continues to warm up.